stand. So it makes me feel more confident in, in taking shots because I can lean out like this, take a shot. I really wish my camera angle was a little higher, but you get the idea. I mean, I can turn around like this, shoot backside of the tree, do whatever I want and, and not worry about falling out of the tree. Hey guys, just making a quick video for you today. Just wanted to show you what I use for a safety harness whenever I'm uh, hunting out of a lock on stand. So I prefer to use a rock climbing harness whenever I'm bow hunting, uh, just because it, there's nothing up over my chest. Like you see some of the harnesses uh, that are specifically made for hunting. Um, I just kind of figure I've been using this thing for about six years now. Figured if it's if it's strong enough to, to save somebody from falling off the side of a mountain, it'd be strong enough to save me from falling, you know, 18 feet, 10 feet, whatever, whatever height I'm at out of a tree. So I'm um, just going to give you a quick look at it and just kind of walk you through it a little bit. So here we go. Okay, so here's how I have it set up. I just have a, a carabiner in the middle here. And it's not really, there we go. So it usually sits like this and then hooks on the outside. Um, and then I have these climbing rated little like D loops here that are stealth stripped. Um, that's what I use for my lineman's belt. I just got them, them uh, from the hardware store. I mean, they're pretty cheap, pretty strong. So I, I use them, I haven't had a problem with them. No issues whatsoever. So I'll show you real quick how I do it. The thing that I like about this one is whatever sticks you're using. So I'm just using this as an example. These are my old sticks. Uh, my wife uses these the same way. Um, you know, of course now I use the lone wolf sticks, but I just had a little loop of paracord on all my sticks like this. Let me bend it down for you a little bit. And this thing, the coolest part about it is these loops that are, they're kind of stiff. So they don't lose their shape, which is cool because you can hang stuff off of them and then they don't like bend onto their stuff. So what I do is I'll take my first stick, put it on the tree, and then my other sticks, I'll just run this loop of paracord through here and hook it back on the stick like that. So I'll have like one on this side, one on this side, and then one on the tree. And then, you know, I'll, I'll climb up and then whenever I want to grab it off, really, I, all I got to do is grab the stick and it just comes right off. See, so it's not going to fall, but it's really easy. You just grab it and pull it away and the loop will pull off the, the leg of the stick here and then, and then you just throw it on the tree. So um, just got that out of the way. So I'll show you kind of how I use it and then we'll go from there. My sticks that I use now, I just have a smaller loop of paracord on them just to show you. Um, and like I said in my other video, I just hook it on here like that. And it just rides just like that when I'm climbing up. And that's why I like having only two sticks nowadays, because instead of, I used to have either three or four sticks depending on where I was hunting at. So I would have one on the tree and then I would have one on this side and one on this side, or I would have two on one side and one on the other. And then my, after I climbed up, the first one I would use is the one off the side with the two on it. That way I would just have one on each side. Um, it's not really a big deal. I just had to be a little more careful about moving around a lot. I didn't want them banging together or anything like that caused any noise, but um, you know, I kind of made do with that for, you know, a couple seasons, when, however long I was doing that, probably two years. Um, but I really like this because now I only have one stick. So I, I go up to the top of my other stick and then, then I go from there. Hey, this is, this is one of my lineman's belts that I like to use. Um, this is just an older lineman's rope from, from tree hopper here. Uh, so basically it just, it just uses friction to, to loop through itself right here. So I can just take my hand and pull it out like that to lengthen it, make it like a little longer, or I can reach in here and grab it, and pull it like that and it gets shorter. So I just like it because of the simplicity of it. And there's no, you know, a lot of lineman's belt, like the ultimate, uh, lineman's belts and tethers and all that stuff that people use uh you know it'll have like a some kind of device like a ropeman or something like that in there and those are nice too i mean i use it for when i'm saddle hunting for, for as a tether but i just like this because there's no there's no metal really on it i mean just the just the clips on the end instead of carabiners that i like using um, i just like the way they built these so another quick tip i want to give you is uh I see a lot of people doing videos like this. They, they're going to put their sticks on the tree and they lean into their stick and they reach around the tree to grab. I don't know why people do that. All I do is I grab my stick like this, reach it around the tree, grab my, my uh, daisy chain there. Sorry, I forgot the word for a second. Grab my daisy chain, hook it to itself, and that's it. It kind of keeps your, your daisy chain up at the same level and it's just easier to wrap especially bigger trees you can reach all the way around a bigger tree because your stick is you know two or three foot long whatever size sticks you're using it just makes things easier you don't have to lean as much so 
basically when I get to the bottom of the tree though, I'll, I'll put my first stick on. I'll reach this around the tree, hook myself into it, and then I'm I'm safe, right? Because I'm gonna go up the tree. I don't wanna I don't wanna get too high. Let me pull this down real quick. Just to make sure that you can still see me in the video here. It should be low enough. We'll find out in a second. Alright, so I'm climbing up the tree and I'm just looping this up the tree as I go, okay? So I can lean back like this, right? I have both my hands free. I can grab stuff out of my, my pouches on the side. If you're wearing pouches on the side, like I said, I took mine off, but grab stuff out of your pouches. You can reach over here and grab your next stick that's that's coming up with me. Um, you know, I got my stand on my back when I go up the tree because I only go up one time. I don't, I don't come up and come back down and do all these trips. I just go up one time. I have my bow uh, attached to a, a piece of paracord. I have my stand on my back and that's it. That's all I need. Go up the tree, pull my stand off my back, put it around the tree like this. I have both hands free. It's nice and easy. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it just, if you're not currently using some sort of lineman's rope like this to, to where you can have both hands free, um, I, I highly suggest getting one. You know, you can spend, you know, 30 bucks on a, on a harness like this, a rock climbing harness, and then another, you know, for f either get it for free if you've got a, a couple loops of, of safety line laying around or you can buy you know 30 or 40 bucks you get you one of these and it'll last i've had this one for about six years now still works just like brand new i mean it's kind of a lifetime purchase you might think that's a little expensive which i did at first too but i've had it for you know a, you know years and years and i don't i can't see it ever wearing out so there you go there's that another thing that i really like about a light stand is when you're up 20 feet in, in the air or 15 or however high you're, you're climbing, you pull this thing off your back. If you've got like a, a 15 pound stand, it's really hard to, you know, you're, you're hanging off the side of the tree on a stick trying to get this thing attached to the tree. So that's why I suggest the, like the millennium bracket, because you're not holding the stand up. You're just, you're putting the bracket on the tree, moving it to where you want it. And then you're pulling your stand off and just hooking it on the bracket. Okay. That works great or a really light stand like this, I do the same thing as I do with my stick. I just wrap it around the tree like this, come back and, you know, my stand's on the tree, How, however I want to put it. I'm going to put it on this side of the tree so you can see me, but normally it would be like, you know, left or right from how I'm climbing. But hey guys, hopefully you can see me. So once I climb up into my stand here and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll of course cam my stand in everybody. Everybody complains about toe hooking your stand, but I do it all the time. It just gets a little tighter to the tree, it takes all the wobble out of it. So, I, you know, I'll toe hook my stand, get it set. And then once I know that like my stand's not going to fall out of the tree because I'm, I'm hooked in like this the whole time. And if I fail, this is just going to stop me. I mean, I can't fall like this. Like this is going to grab the tree and it's going to take me to my first step or whatever. Okay. So I'll, I'll go ahead and. I'll unhook this and I'll hook it back to itself like this on the back of the tree. Hopefully you saw that. And then I'll hook into my middle carabiner here like so. And then, then I'm in the tree. Okay. So I'll, I put this on the back side of itself so that as I'm sitting, it's pulling against itself. And I like to, I like to have it about sternum height as I'm sitting. Okay, so, so I'm sitting, sitting my stand like this. I can't, there's no way I can fall out. Like this is like I can't fall out of the tree. Okay, and I have it a little higher up my back to where, uh, you know, say a deer's coming and I go to stand up, I'll pull my seat up like this. I got plenty of clearance. My seat's not going to hit it. I stood up, I, I can lean against the tree, I can do whatever I want, but you see, it's, it's holding me in the stand. So it makes me feel more confident in, in taking shots because I can lean out like this, take a shot. I really wish my camera angle was a little higher, but you get the idea. I mean, I can turn around like this, shoot backside of the tree, do whatever I want and, and not worry about falling out of the tree because, you know, if it's say I, even if I stepped out of the tree and go to fall, like I, I can't, this, you know what I mean? It's told, it told me just like this, almost like a, almost like a saddle like safety wise so you know this thing's got my weight here like this it, it can't fall off the tree i'm just hanging on it right here so super safe i mean I, I i trust it to keep my wife safe it's one thing to trust it with yourself but 
I let her, you know, use the same one. She, like I said, she keeps pouches on the side of hers to keep all her stuff in the lineman's uh, rope and, and pull up rope and all that stuff for her bow and all that. But I just keep mine slick. It makes it a little quieter because you don't have anything rubbing against the tree or anything like that. But yeah, it's quick and easy. I mean, you just throw this thing on at the truck, walk in. It doesn't, it doesn't ride down. It's really lightweight because all it is is made of, you know, just like safety strap material right here. There's nothing, nothing to clink or, or make any noise on it. I mean, everything's step strip. So quick and easy, uh, lightweight, cheap. Um, what else could you ask for? Okay. And I, I just, I don't prefer the ones that have the straps that come like up your chest like this. Just kind of gets in my way when I'm bow hunting because I only bow hunt. So yeah, there it is. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, this is just a quick video again because Got a comment on one of my videos. Uh, somebody asked me about it. So, if you have any more questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll try to, you know, let you know how I do things or, or help you along in any way I can. And uh, especially if you're a new hunter, get out and shoot your bow. And uh, good luck this season. Appreciate you watching, you guys. Thanks. Hey, another, another quick tip uh, whatever, whatever lineman's belt, like safety belt that you, or line that you're going to use, um, just make sure you can, you can roll it up and kind of keep it into like a tighter ball so it's easy to store. That's not heavy. I know that Amazon sells a couple that are real cheap that, you know, have carabiners on both ends and they're just, it's just a belt strap. You, you have to use both hands to adjust it and all that, but just get you something you can, you can roll up like this right here. And it's, you know, about as big as your hand, small enough to fit into a cargo pocket. I mean, it doesn't weigh hardly anything. Um, just, it makes things a lot easier. Lightweight, easy to use and quiet is the, the three things that you got to have for whatever piece of equipment you're buying. So just keep that in mind whenever you're shopping for whatever you're looking at buying and uh, good luck this season. Thanks.